This demonstration unit consists of a constant RPM electric motor and 60 tooth sprockets on the drive shaft as well as the input and output yokes. When there is no operating angle on the U-joint, the output yoke of the driven member, the U-joint, and the drive shaft all travel together at a constant speed. Watch the tape on these sprockets and listen to the sound the card makes as the drive shaft rotates at the same speed as the output yoke and U-joint. When an operating angle is created at the front end of the drive shaft, the output of the U-joint no longer travels in a perfect circle. Instead, it travels in an ellipse. This forces the drive shaft to speed up and slow down to keep pace with the rotation of the output yoke, creating torsional and inertial vibration. Watch the tape and listen to the card. As the output of the U-joint changes speeds, so does the drive shaft, even though the output yoke itself is maintaining a constant speed. When the operating angles on each end of the drive shaft are not equal, the non-uniform velocity is transferred to the input yoke of the driven member. Making the center lines of the driving and driven members parallel will automatically make the U-joint operating angles equal at each end of the shaft. With equal operating angles, the non-uniform velocity of the front yoke is canceled by the non-uniform velocity of the rear yoke. This causes the output of the rear U-joint, the rear yoke attached to it, and the driven member to rotate at a constant speed. This is what we want, a constant speed into the driven member. Earlier in the program, we talked about phasing. Drive shafts that are not in phase do not rotate at a constant speed. Even when operating angles are equal, improper phasing can create a non-uniform velocity in the drive shaft and a torsional and inertial vibration. This is why Spicer recommends marking the components of a drive shaft before taking it apart. This will help you reinstall the components to maintain the correct phasing and reduce the chances of drive line vibration.